discussion of the <coughs> facial space of hand uh, inside the front of the hand there are three spaces here on the medial aspect of the palm there is a mid palmar space just medial to the uh, thumb there is a thinner spaces and inside the fingers uh, there is a space which is called the fall space of the finger fall space of the fingers now we will discuss about the uh, mid palmar space mid palmar space it lies on the medial aspect of the hand and it is bounded by the it is lies inside the hand on the medial aspect towards the four fingers it is triangular in shape superficially it is bounded by the skin superficial fascia palmar aponeurosis tendon of the flexor deodorum superficialis uh, palmar arches flexor deodorum profundus and inside there is a lumbricals muscles this is a lumbricals muscles deeply it is bounded by the uh, palmar interosseae mainly the third and fourth palmar interosseae distally it extend up to the distal palmar crease and it becomes continuous as a fascia covering to the third and fourth lumbricals muscles proximally it is bounded by the flexor retinaculum and it becomes continuous as a space of perona medially it is bounded by the just medial to the hypothenar muscles uh, just lateral to the hypothenar muscles one septum it is called the medial palmar septum and laterally it is bounded by the intermediate palmar septum so medially it is bounded by the uh, medial palmar septum laterally it is bounded by the intermediate palmar septum proximally it is con Uh, bounded by the flexor retinaculum and it is continuous as a space of perona distally it is bounded by the uh, <coughs> uh, third and uh, distally it is uh, bounded by the distal palmar crease and distal palmar crease and it is become continuous as a third and fourth lumbricals deeply the deep boundaries or posteriorly it is bounded by the palmar and dorsal interosseae mainly the third and fourth palmar and dorsal interosseae superficially it is bounded by the skin superficial fascia palmar aponeurosis tendon of the flexor deodorum profundus flexor pollicis ah flexor deodorum profundus flexor deodorum superficialis now the thinner space which is lateral to the mid palmar space but medial to the Uh, hypo, uh thinner muscles medial to the hypothenar muscles it is bounded by the laterally it is bounded by the lateral palmar septum medially it is bounded by the intermediate palmar septum here proximally it is bounded by the flexor retinaculum and continues as a space of perona distally it is bounded by the distal it is bounded by the proximal palmar crease and continues as a fascia covering to the first lumbricals and superficially it is bounded by the uh, tendon which is goes to the index finger and the tendon which is goes to the uh, thumb mainly the flexor pollicis longus and abductor pollicis and the uh, inside the thumb uh, uh, goes to the index finger the tendon of the uh, flexor deodorum superficialis and flexor deodorum profundus the tendon which is goes to the index finger and deeply it is bounded by the uh adductor pollicis uh oblique and transverse head of the adductor pollicis so this is the boundary of the th uh, thinner space thinner space laterally it is bounded by the uh lateral palmar septum medially it is bounded by the intermediate palmar septum proximally it is bounded by the flexor retinaculum distally it is bounded by the proximal palmar crease and <clears throat> superficially it is bounded by the tendon which is goes inside the flexor tendon which is goes inside the uh, thumb and index finger it is a flexor pollicis longus abductor pollicis and the tendon of the flexor deodorum superficialis and flexor deodorum profundus the tendon goes to the index finger and deeply it is bounded by the 
tendon of the oblique and transverse side of the adductor pollicis. And the third space, it is the space, it is called the pulse space inside the finger. Superficially it is bounded by the skin and deeply it is bounded by the distal phalanx. And the fascia which is uh, penetrate it and it is called the space of Whitlow. And there is an infection inside the nail bed. Sometimes there is a swelling which occurs. So this is about to the mid palmar spaces.